What's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another Dyslexic Reacts. Uh, today, I'm going to be checking out the second rounds of the quarterfinal four of PSN and Kristoff. As always, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe and check out the original channel as well as the uh, loopers involved. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into things in three, two, one. Beatbox. Little 7S. What does that mean, by the way? I know it's in all of Kristoff's stuff, even his channel, but what is it? Is it like a crew? Man, look at all those devices he's not using. This is that chain smoker song. Cold in my sweater. Sorry, not saying much. Really? There's some of my, my favorite panning. Panning delay. What does that mean? He said it. Didn't he say that same exact thing at the beginning that I tried to kind of say? Like, piège That's probably not even close. Um, but he also said at the end of his first round as well, I believe. Um, so, yeah. Overall, I mean, again, I, I, I read in some of the comments that PSN has some college stuff going on and he hasn't been able to devote as much time to this as he'd like. So um maybe i mean this one sounded finished the previous song I, I think sounded unfinished to me and i think the comments made it seem like he even had talked about that i don't want to say that for sure as i didn't see it myself but um yeah so this one definitely seemed finished but it was a little underwhelming um 
I know. So all I know from PSN are his two wild cards he put in. I think one for GBB and one for this, um, as well as his seeding round and now this. So I was just going off of his wild cards, which both were obviously on the Mark One, which could really change his level of comfort going from a device he's been using for years. And as you saw there, he has two of. Uh, to having to use a whole new device in the Mark II. So I'm not sure if he's doing different stuff or if I just am not familiar enough with his catalog to see that he also makes music like this because it does sound like um, a song that he didn't just come up with on the spot, obviously. So that being said, for all you PSN fans... Why don't you link down in the comments a couple of his other videos, and I'll do some reactions of his. Maybe maybe that's what I'll start doing um, in between kickback battle rounds. I can react to some older content of the loopers in the rounds I just finished watching to try and get more information on what they've done. Because while I've watched a bunch of old beatbox content, most of it has not been... Um, loopers that are currently competing. Most of it's like Sorrow, MB14, Rock, uh, Rocks or Loops, Rhythmind, Enemy, like people who were in GBB19 and earlier. Um, so that being said, um, it is a couple minutes before the next round premieres. I'll go ahead and switch over there now. You can see it'll premiere shortly. It's 7 59 a.m now this starts at 8 a.m so just so that you guys don't have to sit here and wait with me i'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording and i will bring you back in when the countdown has started all right here we are counting down move my head and don't well you, you get the idea we're getting ready to go ahead and jump into Kristoff's final round of the quarterfinals uh, we'll go ahead and switch over to that view and unmute things as soon as it starts. Two, one, beatbox. Let's see what Kristoff gives us. What the heck? So much texture. So grimy already. Ugh. Ugh. There's a constant hallucination. Hmm. So close your eyes and wake up. I like his vocal effects in the last two rounds. Once you liberate your thoughts, your real life can begin. Close your eyes and wake up. What? No, I closed close my eyes, eyes to sleep. Chilled like three. Oh my god, you probably can't see him. It's like the third time in the song. Oh. 
I love the new, like, it's not new, but... What the heck? Building up again? Is this just to the end? Oh, I'm getting chills. Okay. Wow. And that's... Okay. Okay. Okay, Kristoff. I see you. I see, oh, I hear you too. Both. Luckily, I'd I'd be very upset if I couldn't hear you. That was that was something that I don't think I've ever even come close to experiencing in looping before. That's not to say no one's ever done it, but I've just never seen it. Like typically, like so, there was that high pitch, like. That's not even close to the melody it was doing, but it came in a couple times. Kind of reminded me of Stranger Things, and typically that's all I would think about or hear when I hear something that reminds me of a show, um, like uh, or or a song. Like PSN's round was, and it might be Halsey. I think it's Chain Smokers, where it's like, "I'm so cold, put your hand, both your hands in the holes of my sweater or something." Sorry, I'm don't really listen to the song i've just heard it on the radio so um but dun, 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 dun. that song i'm pretty sure like it was exactly the same as what psm was doing except his ended and looped before theirs normally would have gone into like a dun, 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 dun. um anyways probably not intentional so not saying anything negative of it but just saying once i hear that connection it's hard for me to unhear it so the fact that i heard that and was like oh stranger things but then like seconds later was back to just like this is something completely new and original and different and it, it kind of gave me like matrix vibe matrix vibes which is fitting with the remake or remas remake re loaded version coming out soon the new one coming out soon um maybe they'll maybe they'll reach out to Kristoff and use this in the movie somewhere because the whole open close your eyes and wake up sounds very matrixy as well um anyways enough just random thoughts that i had throughout the rounds let's jump into actual thoughts on winning analysis who won why things like that um, if you've enjoyed the video so far, though, before I get into the analysis, uh, please consider subscribing and comment down below who you thought won. Um, I asked earlier in the video, but just in case it was missed, if you skipped around, um, definitely leave me comments below of more PSN or Kristoff videos to check out. Maybe I'll put out a little video checking out a couple of each of their rounds before, uh, my next kickback battle, uh, reaction since, uh, be some time before the next rounds come out um but yeah so uh just based on reactions i think it was pretty clear who i was feeling more um Christoph's definitely gonna take both rounds for me the first round it could have gone either way 100 percent like some people in the comments were agreeing with me saying Christoph took it uh but i think most of the comments were actually saying psn took it um, or maybe it was one of each. I, I get, I'm, I get very confused when I try to remember conversations I had because work lately has been just nonstop conversations with different people and I mix up who said what and when and where. Um, but, uh, the more, like, I, I, if, and I'm not going to take this into consideration because it is still a competition. You did sign up for it. So if you don't have the time, unfortunately, that doesn't give you extra points. Um, but with that in mind, if I think he had finished the round, it definitely would have been PSN round one for me. 
that that was a really interesting cool um use of the new mark ii that i hadn't seen before um now his round two and his seating round and also kind of his round one all had a lot more singing and a lot more kind of like i don't know the genre but and i don't want it to to just say this and people think it's because they're both um hispanic but um it reminds me a lot of uh I, I can't remember the term of music but like uh what the despacito guy makes uh kind of like uh club i want to say like bailar but i think bailar just means dance so maybe maybe just uh dance music is all it would be called mm, no there, there's a term for it anyways let me know in the comments what the term is but it gave me that kind of vibe like what you would hear in like uh, typical in in the movies at least i've never been to one in real life but like a, a bar in mexico or south america um that kind of music i feel like would be playing but uh, typically I feel like he puts out a lot more electronic EDM style stuff. So I don't know if his read was that since a lot of other people were singing a lot more in this competition, he needed to add singing to his rounds. But I think the fact that his wild card without singing got first place kind of goes to show that it's not necessarily required. It's just another tool in the toolbox. So I, I wish he would have done some more of his crazy, uh, just switch ups and like, somehow making three songs out of two noises into a microphone a minute and a half earlier uh that that i think is where psn shines in my limited experience which is why i want to check out more of his videos if uh, you guys send them down below like i said i will check them out maybe he's always been making this style of music i just uh had only heard rounds prior that were much more um electronic focused which pretty much were just as two wild card rounds so really not a lot for me to uh go off of um gosh i go on such long tangents i apologize guys uh but i think some of you may like them so i, I if you don't feel free to skip through uh just watch my reactions and leave if that's all you're really here for i understand uh but i try to give my thoughts in more depth because i do think that's kind of where I have a lot to add, I feel like, um, not to say other people are overly nice and I don't want to be known as the negative guy, but I do feel like a lot of other reactors kind of just lose their mind and talk about how crazy everything is. Uh, I want to try and get more into the analytical of my mind, not what Shin and Shazam do where they're very analytical of the actual skills of the beatboxer. I want to kind of break down why I think the way I do. And I, that's kind of what I'm hoping the comments can eventually come as I grow, become as I grow, is other people explaining their thoughts. And so we can kind of both all talk to each other and get a greater understanding of why we think the ways we do. Um, I'd just like to get other people's perspectives on uh, both my thoughts as well as their thoughts on uh, over all of the rounds. Um but anyways, this has gone long on long enough. Uh, Christoph's second round blew my mind. It sounded so unique and original. And uh, one thing I did want to say, I think I stopped mid-thought during the round, was I love when they've, they've started doing a lot more augmenting of the drops with vocal effects. So rather than building something up and playing it and maybe putting a slicer or some sort of other uh effect on it to change it for the drop they're instead just leaving things somewhat similar maybe dropping a few sounds out and then coming in with their vocals to kind of make the drop more dynamic uh the first time i remember seeing that was one of rhythm minds rounds the one uh where people are doing a circle pit but they don't really react to the drop right away. I think that's, it might not be that specific round, but I believe it's that video where he does it. Um, I really liked it then, and I like it every time I've seen it in this competition, so I hope that continues to be a trend. Um, but yeah, as always, 
Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to me as well as Swiss Beatbox, Kristoff, and PSN. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.